Well, the opening montage, everyone's seen it. it starts with the bats, you know, Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo appears, you know, and they go through this montage of all these guys walking and all these weird things walking around. And it's funny, I mean, I always thought of that as sort of uh, encapsulating the design of this movie. Roll cameras! They're like cartoon sets come to life. Every time you see a new set, it's like, wow, they really did that. Some of the roller coasters have just been crazy. They built these roller coasters on sound stages. This is the foyer area. It would be the staging area. If you were to get on the spooky castle ride, this is where the ride would begin. The sets are these awesome, just built these edif I mean, they're just they're perfect. So, I mean, it's everything you could ever imagine coming out of the cartoon to put on film. This has been one of the most ambitious, if not the most ambitious film that I've been involved with. You know, we've taken over every single sound stage that they have at the facility here, which is six sound stages. I gotta say, it's a huge, huge project. 25 sets, 25 locations. Each one of the sets and locations is a huge undertaking, huge build. Um, they range in size from small laundry rooms to huge caverns at the end of the film. Stage five, our cavern set. So if you follow me, this set basically took about four months to actually construct. And what you see right now is the final product. Welcome to the Damon Riders. Here's a monster. Uh, let me come on in here. And this is where Daphne finds the Damon Ritus. Sort of like a, an operating theater, like the old, old operating theaters. There's two levels. We come out here, we have the huge lobby area of the spooky, spooky inn. When the kids would walk into a room, say a castle or something like that, it would always be this huge room, and then they'd go in for the close-ups. It kind of gave it sort of a cartoony kind of feel. So it's kind of what we were doing here. We're just making a huge room where little people walk in just to give it sort of a cartoony kind of cool feel. Just little tiny details, which I think are pretty amazing. If you look on the floor, the etchings and the specific design is incredibly detailed, which is something that every set that Bill Bowes has designed has had. If you take a look around, it's clearly quite incredible and is representative of the amazing talent of Bill Bowes and his team of designers as much um, as possible as well. This is part of the spooky castle. When we were trying to figure out a concept, it began as sort of a broke down ride and it went through this whole mm -hmm. metamorphosis. At one point it was gonna be like old horror Warner movies in different environments. The hall of yelling and screaming, that's pretty self-explanatory. So this is sort of the surgical nightmare. You can see the track down here leading into the next environment. It's definitely got that Alice in Wonderland kind of feel. Flaming face, skull. Why not? I just really studied the architecture and they were very simple, you know, and they did it with shapes and they did it with color. Every time they went into a new environment, there was a whole color, like one room would be completely green, the next room would be completely blue, blue castles. They were always, it was always blue in there. I don't know why, but if you notice, our castle interior is blue. This place is like uber creepy. <laughs> We gotta have guys in armor. We got plenty of guys in armor. We got cobwebs, uh, we got statues, gargoyles, kind of wacky cartoon angles and uh, architecture. And two, and one. There's an amazing illusion that takes place when you put a place like this on film, but to actually stand inside of this giant soundstage, it's, it's, it, it really blows me away. It's like I remember when I was a kid, the way I felt it's a good feeling, you know? I just hope they have a smile on their face because we did while we were making it.